I presented about uh, all the changes that are currently happening in the digital world. So the fact that there is much, much more investment in digital solutions in the education sector. Even so, the education sector is a bit lagging behind compared to some of the other ones. And a lot of these changes uh, are driven by huge investment in China, uh, which has actually increased the investment in venture capital between 2014 and, and 18. All these different things take different shapes and, and actually a lot of them um, are happening in the classroom and providing a lot of new information to teachers about uh, how they actually um, could improve their teaching. So sometimes, you know, you have some ways to uh, give them information in real time, telling them when, for example, they should shift uh, activities in the classroom. Uh, but sometimes it's also after the fact and where they can actually get information about how they have used the space in the classroom, to whom they've been talking, which are the kids that they have been helping and are they the right ones uh, that they should have been doing. So it's a lot of tool to make uh, uh, teachers reflect on their teaching and actually so a tool for professional development. I don't think that they will be taught by robots in the near future, uh, but it's possible that robots will have to will play a, ro a, ro uh, a role in the classroom. Um, but just to help in very specific tasks, you know, and they're good at doing some very specific things, uh, like for example, in language learning, or for some students, uh, like with, for example, autistic problems, they are really great to help them actually, uh, uh, to support them in their learning. But it will still remain a human uh, a machine inter uh, interaction, a bit like what we see in many other aspects of, of society where, you know, in some cases, like we can imagine that uh, virtual learning will become more important. So there will be cases where it will be only machines, uh, but in most of the other ones, there will still be a relationship between human beings and, and, and machines. Digitalization represents a lot of opportunities, um, but also a few challenges. So I think that uh, the mistake would be to neglect the opportunities, you know, and, and to show, um, you know, just because there are challenges, say that we cannot do that, we have to wait, we have to wait. Well, we're not going to wait, so we have to see how we can do it the best. But another mistake would be to neglect the challenges as well and the risks that you have because uh, you know, computers are just um, algorithms that are done by human beings and they can have a lot of the biases of human beings. Sometimes they can do things wrongly and, and so we also want to really take that into account. We also have to think about the privacy and what it means actually to live together in a, a digitally rich environment. So. What are the implications in terms of socializing, in terms of human interactions, and also in terms of the skill that should be actually developed uh, uh, in school? And so we are doing a lot of work on that at the OECD on you know, what should be the education of the future, what kind of curriculum, what kind of skills, and even more importantly, how do we actually develop these kind of skills? Well, I think that, you know, the skill that most employers say will be very important are related to uh, complex problem solving, uh, creativity, critical thinking, uh, communication. Uh, and this is, these are very important uh, aspects uh, of it. So I would say that problem solving is already part of the traditional curriculum. Critical thinking to some extent, but there are a few new things like creativity, which is uh, kind of new for teachers and for schools. Of course, they already do it, but not in a systematic way. And so one of the big challenges for education system is to uh, do it in a much more intentional way and systematic way. And for that, it doesn't just happen by telling people these are the skills of the future. You, all, you really need to develop new tools, uh, new pedagogies, and rethink the pedagogy so that you continue to emphasize the content knowledge, which is still very important, but you deliver it in a different way that also allows the students to actually develop their skills uh, uh, in creativity and critical thinking, communication and collaboration. Well, I think learning is a very important uh, place because it brings together a lot of different vendors. It allows to see what are the trends, what is going on, uh, what is actually 
already there and, and what will be coming, what's not there. It's interesting as well, you know, because we already know what are the kind of uh, advances that we can see in other sectors. Uh, and so they will be coming. Uh, um, um, but here, you know, it's, a, it's really a fantastic place to just see, take stock of what is around, what is available, what uh, the systems could actually use and in many cases are not really used enough yet.